what's going on guys today we're going to build a pc centered around my old 2060 gaming z and i did the math with current prices the build is about 700 dollars you could even go cheaper on a few of these parts uh like the computer case for example we'll get into that and be even cheaper without further ado let me show you the parts that we have what we're going to use and you know we'll get to building this thing let's start with the graphic card this is a 2060 gaming z by msi which when i bought it was sort of just a placeholder until i was able to get a 3000 series gpu but surprisingly enough this thing could still do 1440p gaming on most modern titles over 60 frames a second uh in the future that might change to 1080p which is fine because all i needed to do upstairs is 1080p and of course you still get six gigabytes of ram with this one which isn't considered a lot these days but it is enough i've seen these things go used ranging from 125 dollars to 200 dollars. so keep looking you can get lucky picking one of these up for cheap we're going to pair that up with the tried and true ryzen 5 5600x cpu this is a six core gpu that we picked up for 166 dollars and to save some money we're going to use the wraith stealth cooling fan that it came with you could upgrade this in the future if you wanted to we're going to plug that cpu into the gigabyte b550 micro atx board which i chose because it was pretty cheap sitting at 113 dollars it has room for four ram sticks and two m.2 ssds for the memory i went with the corsair vengeance lpx 16 gigabyte kit so that's two eight gig sticks the speed for these are 3600 megahertz which is really good it's actually faster than my main rig no rgb but that's okay i don't need rgb upstairs and this memory stick kit will run you about $47.99 currently. The SSD we went with is a Crucial M.2 SSD uh, for $37.99. 500 gigabytes, which should be enough to get our main operating system up and running. And we're going to power all of that with the EVGA 610 BP power supply. Which should be more than enough to power the GPU and everything else, which I picked up for $70. And this is the case we went with. We went with the NZXT 510 Elite Mid Tower ATX case. Uh, at the time of this video, you can pick these up for 150, but this is where you can cut costs. Uh, there are some cool 40 to 50 dollar options of cases right now, uh, with built-in fans and all that stuff, and you can cut about 100 dollars or plus out of your budget if you do decide to go a little cheaper on the case. That's it for the summary of parts. Let's get to building this thing. So first we're gonna get our CPU. We're gonna take the yellow dot here. We're gonna line it up with the triangle on the motherboard. Let's pull this lever up. That kind of fell there. We're gonna remove these brackets because we don't need them. Next, we're gonna install the CPU fan. It comes with thermal paste pre-applied, so we don't gotta worry about that. Let's put it on there. Sort of loosely line up your screws with the AMD symbol towards the IO shield or towards the IO area. And screw in the bolts with a cross pattern, being careful just not to over tighten as you go. on this motherboard the CPU plugs into this connector right here we're gonna install the memory in two and four it only goes in one way just use the indent to sort of guide you now to install the M.2 we're going to install it here. We're going to remove this screw. We're going to slide it in. There we go. It actually clicked, so that's good. Using the same screw that came out of the board. If I believe this screwdriver is magnetic. There we go. Next, we're going to take our I.O. shield and put it right into the case. Then we want to get our motherboard, gently angle it right in. And with this case, it's going to be slightly unique. This standoff here uh, doesn't have a screw in place. It's more of a more of like a small plastic piece that kind of holds the motherboard in place. 
Okay, and then the rest you'll have to screw in. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I ran into an issue here. There was no, there's nowhere to put that screw. Mm -hmm. The case hardware will come with a standoff that you can install right here. And then that should be it. Uh, put the motherboard back in and finish screwing everything in. So next, we're gonna take our power supply case, make sure the fan is facing down. We're gonna tuck it in right here. We're gonna open the other side of our case. And once the power supply is in, you wanna screw it in. One, two, three, four. So the first wire we wanna grab from the power supply is this CPU cable. Let me see here, I can probably get it up and around through here. That's nice. So as you can see right here, hopefully I can see on my viewfinder, it's plugged in. So that's the CPU power right there. And it clips right in, so there's no mistaking when it goes in. Okay, so the next thing we want to grab carefully, the 24 pin, and which is pre what's pretty cool about this case is this kind of blocks any routing of the wires visibly. It's pretty cool. So your 24 pin will look like that. And we want to plug it into this puppy right here. For the fan controller, the case pretty makes it pretty easy. I, I love the wire management of this case. If you see the fan controller, the fan controller is right here. It arrives all bolted into place with the wires ran for you. And these are the ones you have to worry about. You take the SATA cables that are coming out of your power supply and you just plug that in. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I believe it's like this. You just stuff that right in the right in the hard drive cage. You don't see it. And then we'll go over to the front. I'll show you the, the wires that need to be brought up towards the front. So for the front cables, you got one, two, three, four wires from the cases wires that you need to route from the back up towards the front. That's the HD audio right here. USB 2.0 here, USB 3.0 here. And for this case, uh, I had to use the adapter that it came with for the F panel. With all that in place, we're ready to install the GPU. So we have the PCIe cables here and I zip tied them right here. I'm not going to use like those fancy aftermarket uh, adapters. I might get one in the future. It's just for upstairs anyway. And I think it looks fine. And that's it, put your case back together. Uh, let's install some drivers and play some games.
Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Spare a moment. I could use your help. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such... time you saw him catch a thief.
thanks for watching guys i'm super happy how the computer turned out and i'm super excited that you can still get some 1440p action out of it just in case if you made it this far in the video and you like what you see make sure to subscribe it really helps the channel out i'll see you guys in the next video for some game reviews or whatever else i'm up to in the game room take care